Okay, now we have SM3. All right, so we have three parameters. All right. Ooh, this is exciting. So our first parameter is the EBP. Let's try and think about what's going on here. So EBP plus eight, we're going to have that first parameter, which is in little Indian order. So the bytes are actually backwards. So we have A4, then F7, then 8C, then FE. And EBP plus C, we have AF1850F5. And EBP plus 16, we have 2609C7B8. Right, so we zero out EAX, we move into the high bytes of EAX, a byte pointer of EBP plus nine. So if we look at EAX, we just put in, what's it, nine, which is F7. We'll leave that in like normal order number. We shift left AX, which is the low order 16 bits by 16. So that means we now have an EAX F7000000. Okay, so now we're going to subtract from AL the byte at EBP plus D. So that's this byte. We're going to subtract that here. So that should give me what E8? E8 plus 18. That sounds right. Then we're going to add 2AH this byte 50. And then we're going to XOR into AX the byte at 12, no, the word at 12. So 11, 12, that'll be these two. Get out my calculator for that. So we have 50, oh, now I need to be in hex. 50E8, XOR, C7B8 equals, so 97.50. All right, so let's hope for the best here. Okay, I'm going to try again. This shift left should have actually zeroed out the number because we didn't actually use a 32-bit register there. So I'm going to assume that this thing got zeroed out. And let's try. Okay, so let's go look at this again. So we had the 50E8 that we got in there from this 50 and then subtraction. And when we do the exclusive or, we want to exclusive or the word, this is going to be B8C7. So we're going to say B7, excuse me, B8, B8C7. Exclusive or five zero eight equals e eighty two f. 